In this video, you will learn how to perform hydrophobic interaction chromatography, or HIC. Chromatography is a powerful technique for separating proteins in a complex mixture. HIC separates molecules based on their hydrophobicity. In this activity, green fluorescent protein, or GFP, will be separated from the thousands of endogenous proteins present in the E. coli used to produce the recombinant protein. In this activity, we will be using an HIC column that is filled or packed with a hydrophobic resin. In a high salt buffer, hydrophobic proteins bind to the resin. When the salt concentration is lowered, the binding of the proteins to the resin is reduced. Highly hydrophobic proteins, such as GFP, elute only in buffer with a very low salt concentration. For this activity, you will need 250 microliters of bacterial lysate with GFP, 250 microliters of column wash buffer, and 750 microliters of TE buffer. Label three collection tubes, one, two, and three, and place them on a rack with the column. To prepare the column for use, remove the caps from the top and bottom of the column. Insert a small wedge of paper between the column and the collection tube to prevent the formation of an airtight seal which would slow the flow of the sample through the column. Allow the column to drain the storage buffer in collection tube number one until the bottom of the meniscus is one to two millimeters from the surface of the resin. Next, pipette 250 microliters of bacterial lysate with GFP to the column. Insert the pipette as far into the column as possible without touching the resin, and pipette slowly and gently to avoid any disturbance of the column bed. At this point, transfer the column to collection tube number two. The remainder of this activity can be performed in a darkened room with a handheld UV light to increase the visibility of the GFP. Allow the lysate to enter the column bed until the meniscus is within 1 to 2 millimeters of the surface of the resin. Next, add 250 microliters of column wash buffer. Wash buffer is a medium salt solution. Allow the buffer to drain until the bottom of the meniscus is 1 to 2 millimeters from the surface of the resin. Transfer the column to collection tube number 3. Add 750 microliters of TE buffer. TE buffer contains no salt. Observe as the band of GFP moves down the column. As the first drops of GFP appear at the tip of the column, you may wish to collect the sample in a microtube for more convenient storage.